Welcome to the Words to Empower television broadcast, featuring Frank and Jackie Stewart, pastor and first lady of the Axe Ministries. And now, Frank and Jackie Stewart. Welcome back to the Words to Empower broadcast with Pastor Frank and I'm Lady Jackie. We're so glad that you joined us on today. And we want to say happy Resurrection Sunday to each and every one of you. We thank God for you joining us this Easter Sunday. God bless you. Come on in the room. Tell somebody that Acts Ministries WTE is on live and in living color. We yes. want you to celebrate this resurrection season with us. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good. Hello. Happy Easter, Pastor. <laughs> Happy Easter to you. It's a wonderful day. This is, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we're just thankful to be alive on this wonderful day that mm -hmm. we designate to celebrate uh, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So yes. we thank God for that. We thank God for just knowing that he got up, First Lady. Yes. He yes. got up. Yes. He got up. He refused to stay in the ground, and he got up for us. So going to dive into this lesson, what we got today, mm, this right. Easter Sunday. Yes, we're focused in victory, the thrill of victory and the power over defeat. Yes. <laughs> you know, the sports used to come on and talk about the agony, agony of, defeat. of defeat. But there was some agony on the cross. There yes. was there was some pain on the cross. Yes. But he overcame it because Jesus was focused and Jesus is a finisher. Yes, he is. And because there was agony on the cross, he eliminated what we had to pay, that sin debt that mm -hmm. we owed. Yes. We were in debt mm -hmm. and we couldn't pay. Right. We couldn't pay. But the Lord came and he paid it all. Mm -hmm. He paid yes. it all for yes. us, yes. paid that price so we would have a right to the, free of, the tree of life. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going we're gonna to focus in on victory and the thrill of victory yes. and the power over defeat, not yes. the agony of defeat. <laughs> you know, it yes. might look like sometimes we can learn so much from this weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you just, if you're just looking as an outside observer and you don't have any knowledge of biblical knowledge, mm -hmm. you would think that Jesus lost. Mm -hmm. and, right. and not just mm -hmm. that, the disciples, disciples thought he had they lost. thought he had lost. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. many people, all, you know, all deserted him, but mm -hmm. we know that that he did not lose. He was just getting to the enemy so he could defeat him. Yes, yeah, so we're going to um, go to the passage of Scripture in the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter number 24, verses 1 through including verse 27. And we're going to read the passage, and then we're going to pull out some of these verses and Let's talk about them and let's dive into them and let's celebrate what God has done for us yes. this Resurrection Sunday. All right. And it reads, this is the King James Version. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Yes. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet with you in Galilee? saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulcher and told all these things unto the 11 and to all the rest. And it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James and the other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as idle tales, and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. And behold, two of them went the same day to the village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. And they talked among together among themselves, all these things which had happened. 
Verse 6, 15 says, And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are, are sad? And one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, yes. which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before God and all the people and how the chief priests and the rulers and have delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not the, his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools. And slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these yes. things and enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them all the scriptures and the things concerning himself. And so, Pastor, this is an awesome passage of scripture dealing with Jesus' victory and over death and his resurrection and the things that happened and transpired as the women went early to the tomb, to the sepulcher, to anoint the body of Jesus with oils and spices that they had prepared. Because remember, they had to get him down off the cross quickly because the Passover um, was taking place and they could not have the dead body hanging there. And so they rushed to bury him. And when they rushed to bury him, they didn't properly in, um, use the spices to embalm his body and to anoint his body. And so they came back the next morning to do that. And so when they came back, they were astonished because something was 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 wrong when they got yes, to the graveyard. Right. <laughs> something. Yeah, something, yeah, something they thought was wrong, which was actually right. Yes. What had happened at the sepulchre, yes. the tomb yes. where they had placed Jesus, which was Joseph Arimathea's tomb. And, you know, you know, First Lady, he came out of that grave. He didn't need the tombstone to be rolled away. He was already gone. Mm -hmm. And we have to think about it. That was rolled away as for further women. evidence, mm -hmm. you know, for the body of Christ. But also for those women that came, they, mm -hmm. they could see. Mm -hmm. They could go back and report to the disciples what was going on. So so here we are. Jesus been crucified, and he has been uh, crucified, and now he's in the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, can you imagine, just imagine you know, can you imagine the women going to the tomb? I mean, it just, mm -hmm. you have to look at this because nothing has, had ever been done like this before. Jesus wasn't mm -hmm. just uh, resur uh, resurrected. He was resurrected by his own power. Yes. Lazarus yes. was resurrected, but Jesus was resurrected by his own power. Mm -hmm. He said, I have the power to lay, lay my life down. down. Yes. And I got the power, power to, to pick, pick it up. up again. Yes. So, so this was a huge event here for them to go here and see everything done the way he had taught them. Mm -hmm. He had let them know that, hey, this is going to happen. It was mm -hmm. just hard for them to hear that. Man, the way we mm -hmm. block out news, we don't want to hear. They didn't want to hear that, so they blocked all that out. But he had told them yes. what was going to happen, and that would have kept them from being so perplexed, so amazed, mm -hmm. so shocked, and, and what have you, but said, they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth. They said unto them, why seek ye the living? Now the angels, mm -hmm. are, yes. angels are talking. That's now. a they powerful say, statement. Yeah, why you look, why are you here? Mm -hmm. Why are you seeking the living among, among the, the dead. dead? So they are in the graveyard. They're, they're amongst the tombs. They're amongst the dead. And the angels have to declare unto them, he is not here. Right. He has risen as he said. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's this, it. This, is, this should not be that's a surprise. It. Yes. He told you that he was going to rise my from the God, dead on God. the third day. And you realize what day this is. You realize 
This day is the third day after the preparations, after the Sabbath, after the Passover, after. So they are now here to um, anoint the body of Jesus. And they, they have a angelic um, announcer yes, <laughs> that, yes. that gives them the 411 that he is not here. He has risen just like he said. And so the women, they, they take the message that the angels give them and they run with it. Now we know that um, we have to use all the gospel writers to um, right, give right, the account right, of the resurrection right. because we miss some things that have actually transpired here. They secured this tomb. They put soldiers <laughs> with this tomb. Right. They secured right. this tomb because they came back and told um, um, Pilate, they came back and told him that, hey, they, this deceiver, he said that he's going to rise in three days. Now they believed it. Yeah. The, yeah. the religious leaders of, of the day, they believed when Jesus said, you know, destroy this temple in three days, three days. I'll raise it back up again. And just as Jonah was in the hollow of the earth, as he was in the hollow of the belly of the fish for three days and three nights, so shall the son of man be in the hollow of the earth. He gave them um, analogies. He gave them um, things to help them to understand that he was going to be dead for three days, but then he was going to be alive after those three days. They've never seen this before, but they did see something prior to this when Jesus called Lazarus from the dead. They came to that Passover looking not only for Jesus, they came looking Lazarus. for Lazarus because they had heard that Jesus had raised him from the dead. And so they wanted to see Lazarus and they wanted to see Jesus and they believe, okay, if he did this for Lazarus, uh oh, we better secure this tomb right, and right, we better put right. some soldiers here because we don't want him to get up. But he's going to have the victory. Even if the enemy puts some soldiers there, <laughs> he's yeah. going to get the victory. Absolutely. His victory is already his. We're going to yes. take a quick break mm -hmm. and we'll see you on the other side of the break. Yes. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Acts Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you.
Welcome back to the Words to Empower. We are talking about the um, focus part of Jesus' life where he's going to be resurrected. This is this is Easter Sunday. This is Resurrection Sunday. And we yes. are talking about our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has not only won the victory, gotten the victory, but he has given unto us the victory. And because he got up, we can get up too. And so we're studying in the Gospel of St. Luke. Um, the resurrection story and how we see Jesus is focused. He's focused, focused. even through the resurrection. He's focused, focused to the point that he doesn't want us to misunderstand that he was focused before the resurrection. He was focused during the resurrection. He's going to be focused after the resurrection. And so you and I, brothers and sisters, we must be focused in order to receive the victory and to experience the thrill of victory yes. and the power over defeat. Yes. Keep on to say like it was a wide, <laughs> wide world of sports and the <laughs> agony of defeat. I can still see that. Yes. But, but Jesus never suffered defeat. And as we were saying Amen. before we went to break, it looked like it. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's the lesson that we can really pull out of Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, is that sometimes things look like things are dead. Yes. And that's what oh, we're that's talking a, about. That's very good. Yeah, we're, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about it's time for resurrection is our theme for mm -hmm. this year. So sometimes things look dead, first mm -hmm. lady. Mm -hmm. Yes, but they're not actually dead. You know, when we go from season to season, winter, spring, summer, and fall, although the grass turns yellow, although all the leaves fall off of the trees, they shed their leaves, and although the, the branches are dormant and you don't see any leaves and you don't see any buds and you don't see any flowering and you don't see any fruit, that does not mean that the tree is dead. Right, right, That right, does not right. mean that the tree does not have life. That is the season that it's going through. That's the process that it's going through. Yes, but yes. as spring comes, and that's that's why this type of time of year, resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday, it happens in the spring of the year and it helps us to reflect on things coming back to life. Yes. Those things that appear dead, they are not actually dead, but no. they are actually dormant. No. There, it is this time where they're not supposed to be out, but the spring is coming back and you, you gradually see the grass coming back and turning back green and you gradually see the leaves coming back on the trees and you see the buds coming back and the little buds coming back on the branches until they're full blown, full force, and the trees are full of leaves and full of buds and full of flowers and full of trees. And it's 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 like you see things coming back to life. Yes. Jesus comes back to life and he comes back powerful for us to understand that he hath gotten the victory over death, hell and the grave. Jesus has gotten the victory. Oh, grave, where is thy sting? Oh, death, where is thy victory? We see Jesus getting the victory even over death. That's powerful. You know, and he got victory over the death, but they still didn't recognize. They still expected him to be dead. Mm -hmm. So that's yes. where the angels come in and ask him, why seek he to live it? Mm -hmm. What would you be doing in a graveyard looking for somebody that's alive? Mm -hmm. Why would you be looking for them? Somebody that's been buried. So mm -hmm. this is the angel saying, to them, why seek he to live in? among the dead. Mm -hmm. Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking for Jesus? Mm -hmm. He is not here. He's mm -hmm. gone. Yes, He's yes. gone just like he said he would. He told us that he came to die yes. for the sins of mm -hmm. mankind, for yes. this cause came out into the world. Yes, yes. So we, we, we understand that. But they was in the graveyard. They're still expecting mm -hmm. it to be dead. Mm -hmm. So like you said, that's a whole nother, whole nother message. Things appearing to be dead mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's dead. And, mm -hmm. and what the devil want to do, he's going to roll a coffin in so you can see that coffin for that thing that you love or that that, that dream, that inspiration. He want to make you think it's not going to survive. It's going to die. That's when you really, really have to muster up all the faith within you. Get you a prayer partner. Get somebody you know you can get a prayer through and bring that. Uh, get that to uh, the man of God, the woman of God to pray with you. It's the way we attack the devil. Mm -hmm. It's the way we go after him, and we have to do that. So uh, here, 
here when you see this. They're still expecting this to be dead. Mm -hmm. So firstly, I wonder how many things in our lives that we think are dead, and it might be dead, but what the Lord mm -hmm. is saying, he can resurrect yes, it. Yes, Jesus yes. was dead in the text. Yes, he, he was yes, dead. Most completely definitely. dead. Most he was definitely. dead, dead. Yes. But that shows the power of mm -hmm. God yes. in bringing him back to life. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that, you know, as Jesus is dying on the cross, you know, on his way to Calvary, you know, he encounters the women who are weeping and crying and bewailing and lamenting. And Jesus looks at them and he says, don't weep for me. Right. Don't cry for me, but, right. but, but cry for yourselves. Weep for yourselves. Because right. I'm on my way to victory. I'm on yes. my way to the cross. I'm yes. on my way. Yes. I've got to die for the sins of the world. And as you quoted the scripture, for this cause came I into the world. Jesus was born to die. Yes. And if we could ever um, remember that Jesus was born to die. He was on a mission. That was his destiny. He was born to take upon himself the sins of the world so that you and I could have a right to the tree of life, so that you and I didn't have to go to the cross because all of us, right, right. All of us deserve to hang on the cross just like those two male Absolutely. factors on Absolutely. his left and on his right. Absolutely. We all deserve to Absolutely. be hung up and strung That's up. That's what we deserve. We deserve to be hung yes. up and strung up. But the grace of God... Jesus stepped in and said, no, I will take your place. And, you know, we, we go through this story and we talk about Barabbas. Yeah. You know, it was the custom. It was the tradition to release one of the prisoners on the um, feast of Passover. And so when um, Pilate, when he's when he's trying to release Jesus, he's he's trying to give them a choice between Jesus and Barabbas. Right, but right. but but Barabbas is an insurrectionist. He's a rioter. He's a murderer. He's someone who's found guilty. But as, as we talked about on the live feed, you know, we were all Barabbas at one point. Absolutely. We were all guilty. Absolutely. We all deserve the penalty of death because Should've the died. wages of sin is death, but the gift yes. of God is eternal life. But Jesus stepped in so that we, you and I, brothers and sisters, can receive the eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we don't have to die the death, the death of the cross. Jesus did it for us. One sacrifice, once and for all. He was the sinless lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. And we see the victory, the thrill of victory that comes from um, just knowing that Jesus was victorious over death, over hell, over the grave. He was victorious in this life and through death he was victorious and he was victorious through his resurrection. And we see how he encountered not only the women, he encountered, you know, Peter and John, they run to that temple excuse me, that tomb, right. they run into that graveyard looking for Jesus, expecting yes. to see him, and they don't find him either. Right. And you know the thing that says here that, and they remembered his words. Yes. They remembered his word. And that's what we have to do. We have to remember what God has said, what he has spoken. It doesn't matter. See, they, they just couldn't believe, they couldn't see this happening here, mm -mm. that after after three days, you know, he was going, and, and that is, that's amazing because they were with him when he raised Lazarus from the dead. Mm -hmm. so and the widow's son in name. widow's son. And, and Peter, and, James, and John was the, with him with Jairus' daughter. Jairus' daughter, yes. So they had seen him do incredible things. But this is, this is, this is him being raised from the dead. He's, he's not, I guess, alive and moving so he could do it. But they had such a, such a level of unbelief when it came to Dead things. And I, and I believe, Pastor, just seeing the agony in the Garden of Gethsemane that Jesus went through where they saw the great drops of blood um, flowing from his pores where he's sweating, not just sweat, but he's sweating great drops of blood. And then they see how he's beaten, how he's whipped, how he's flogged, how his beard is plucked from his face, how they plant that thorn of crowns upon his forehead. Right. When they see the, how they have beaten and flogged Jesus with that, that um, tail, um, that cat of nine tails, where, where we see how they have ripped open his flesh and how they have beaten him un until he's unrecognizable. 
right. where they have seen their Lord, their Savior, their Master, where they've seen him go through all of this and they were not there to support him. And right. Peter has denied right. him three times and they have all fled and, and went, behind, him. went behind closed doors. And yes, Judas has betrayed him. When they have seen all of this, I think it almost probably make them go in shock. They probably went in a type of shock, Pastor. I think if you and I would have seen something like that to happen to our, our mentor, our pastor, our that would do something to you to Absolutely. the point that, that you just might forget some of the things that, that he had told you. So, you know, sometimes I think we're kind of really hard on the disciples. Right, but if we right. were in the same predicament, if we were in the same place, we just very might well have done the same thing. But when we see that Jesus has to help them, help them out mm -hmm. in believing, he even tells Thomas, put your hand in my side, mm -hmm. put your hand in the nail prints, you know, touch my hands, feel the nail prints in my hands. I need you to understand. I need you to believe, you know, bless, blessed are they who are going to believe and have, have not, not seen, seen. That's a great and have us. not seen. And we that's, that's you and I, brothers and sisters. We were not there Our when witnesses. Jesus was crucified. We were not there when the tomb stone was rolled away. We were not there when the angel said he is risen. He's not here. We were not there. But when we were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, he likened that as unto us being in the tomb with Jesus, being buried with him through baptism. So we get to identify with him even this resurrection Sunday on this day that the Lord has blessed us to deem as the day to celebrate him getting up out of the grave. He's given us a reason to get up to. Yes, absolutely. We have a reason to celebrate and we thank God because yes. can't no grave. Hold us down. Because it's the same <laughs> spirit that yes. was in Jesus. Yes, yes. And the same spirit that was in him is in, in us today. Yes. We that are born again, mm -hmm. that same spirit will make alive. Yes, quickly make alive. Our physical yes. bodies. So it doesn't matter how deep you bury us. It doesn't matter what happened mm -hmm. to these bodies. Doesn't matter. There's going to be a resurrection morning. We thank Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ for Amen. making that possible. Amen. Happy Resurrection yes. Sunday to each and every one Happy of you. We Easter. thank you God guys for joining you. us. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you and give you his peace, the peace of God that surpasses your very own understanding. We love you. We want to pray right now as we end this broadcast on today. Pastor, could you lead us in prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you're God. We know, Lord God, that you're on the other end of this transmission. You don't have to come. You're already there. Thank so we Jesus. pray, Lord God, that the words that have been spoken today would go deep in someone's heart to yes. hear the word. Yes. Cause them running to the altar saying, what shall I do to be saved? Father, so we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen once again. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Yes. We thank you for joining us on the WTE broadcast. You can connect with Axe Ministries at axeministriesonline.org. And if you have special prayer requests or questions that you would like to submit to the ministry, you can do so by contacting us on our Gmail account. That's WTE broadcast at gmail.com. We'd love to connect and pray with you. And until next week, God bless you. God keep you. We Amen. love you. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus. Yes. The Axe Ministries is located at 1423 Ingram in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock. Call 501 329 2055 or go to axeministriesonline.org for more information.